6.41 in the morning, we're going to um, El Nevado, El Nevado de Toluca. We just asked the guy behind us and he said like 200 feet, 250 meters more and that will be the entrance to the uh, National Park. We will see. Check out this view guys. So we are in the middle of the highway. You see, this is the highway, literally. All right. So I believe that's the entrance. Esta debe ser la entrada. Yeah. We want to share something with you guys, because. And this is nothing against my brother, okay? Because, you know, he knows that we love him a lot, right? So, Oscar, don't get offended, man. But listen very carefully. You were supposed to come, and you were supposed to come with the car. But now because of that, because you didn't come, because it was very early for you, five, five something in the morning, now we need to walk all the way up and we have not been walking not even walking for 20 minutes <laughs> and we are tired already Woo! <coughs> you want to say something to no. oscarito nada creo que te odia <laughs> oh all right so 9.32 a.m. of course. What day is today? January the 24th. We'll see how long it'll take us to, uh, to the top. After our dinner, after eating tacos and burritos, well, definitely we are not, we are not very light. All right, so we're gonna be honest with you guys. We found this truck on the way. And you know, they offered some help, we couldn't say no. We saved two kilometers. So why not, you know, if, if something is providing with such a help, let's take it. What do you think, guys? So now this is the real Mexican style. Huh? Okay, so our, our truck just dropped us here. He saved us pretty much one hour just walking and now this is the right way all the way up to the volcano so let's do it let's do it is now guys but we removed our our jackets it's getting hot in here because we should have brought our bikinis so I guess oops sorry <laughs> so I guess it's a good time probably to get to know each other a little bit more guys so you know many of you know me many of you don't I'm a Mexican I was born and raised in Mexico City. I lived in there for pretty much all my life. I'm 32 years old. Currently I live in Poland, Warsaw, which is the capital. And I'm just coming back after three years of being out of Mexico. And I was missing it. I was missing the family. Oh, tequila so-so, it's worse we have vodka. So, Fernando, it's my name. 
in English. Fernando, Spanish, Fernando. You can hear, like there's no sound at all. No sound at all. You can even hear my echo. Listen. Woo! Alfredo! You hear that? Andale. Vámonos. Huh? <laughs> my cousin over there, behind myself, he's struggling. Alfredo! Estás vivo? No, bien. Casi muerto. <laughs> he said that he's alive, but almost dead. <laughs> he's really having a hard time. <laughs> we gotta be honest with you guys again. The thing is that, you know, most of the people they come by car. We decided to take the adventure and to walk, of course. But you know, we're talking about 17 kilometers <laughs> and we were not well prepared. So we decided to take the um, you know help of this truck, this van. <laughs> Como te sientes? How do you feel man? Ah uh, yeah, yeah, this guy. Cancel. So now, apparently, I, I don't know how many kilometers we have walked already. I don't know. Probably just to disappoint you, four kilometers. <laughs> so, um, so yes, now this guy who is following the, uh, the bikers, the mountain bikers, he gave us a hand. And now we are definitely in the right way. But so far, so good. Whoa. For your information, FYI, one lagoon is um, is known as the lagoon of the moon, and the other one, the lagoon of the sun. I said to this guy, to this guy because he was the driver. I told him like, listen, man, once you get tired, I can do it. I can ride a bicycle. <laughs> I hope he won't get tired. <laughs> We'll see. Oh shit. Alright, so after some some time we we made it. So these guys this help us they help us a lot. They're a group of um, you know um, bikers. So they gave us a ride, we are finally here. Si, si, si traemos, gracias. So now we're gonna go straight to the lagoons. We'll see how how uh, high we can go. But right now, uh, do you feel like you know the pressure of the atmosphere or just the air? It's like uh, so. I have a small headache, and then you can feel the pressure as, as well a little bit like in your chest. But nothing serious, guys. Come on, just want to kill a shot, and then we are. We're good. So let's try. According to, to this gentleman behind us, we are supposed to be around 4,300 meters above the sea level. So right now, at least myself, I can tell you, it's a little bit more difficult to breathe. So now we're just, we're guessing about the temperature, like how cold it gets here during the night. And we think we're around minus 10. It's extreme, extreme weather in here. We are surprised that there's no snow. Let's take a short break. ¿Cuánto es? Seis. De aquí hasta la cima. Ah, seis kilómetros. Ajá. Seis. Son dos. De uno y media dos. Okay. Uno de, uno de subida y uno de bajada. Mm -hmm. Para llegar a la laguna. Ajá, uh -huh. ok, ok. So, guys, what they're saying right now is that because the guys with the bicycle, they went around 
around the, uh, the mountain, the volcano. So that's around the uh, six kilometers. For us, two kilometers only. Manos afuera. So, Porque si te quedes, te pegas en la cara. It's one kilometer all the way up and then another kilometer all the way down all to the lagoon. If you get to hear me now Lagoons should be visible at any point. Freddy is, is tired. Freddy! We did it, man! After a few hours of walking and uh, climbing all the way pretty much to the top, now I'm gonna show you the lagoons. So that's the lagoon, guys. First one. Second one. Somewhere there. Yes. Look at this. This guy, he made it. He made it without any, any struggle. <laughs> the end. So we made it to the first lagoon, guys. Ooh, it is cold. Now I'm going to the Lagoon of the Sun. And you know, very interesting, um, just met this person. She said that um, many divers, they come in here to practice and at least that lagoon is 60 meters deep. We made it. Lagoon of the Sun. Now, all the way up, breathing. It's way harder, but you know, after living in Mexico for more than 25 years, and I never came here, it was a must. It was a must. There is one special guest, guys, that I would like you to, to see. Rocky. Hola, Rocky. Oh. Very friendly Mexican Latin pet. Hola, Rocky. with a non-Mexican name. After all day, after spending all day in the volcano, at the volcano, we are done. We are done. We're back home. We're back home and ready to take some nice hot shower. Thank you guys. See you. See you in the next vlog.